hosted in conjunction with Chris Media, the CEO interview series allows investors to hear directly from the CEOs leading the companies featured on Wholesale Investor. Enjoy the interview and reach out via the details in the description. Hi and welcome to another Crisp TV interview. Today I'm joined by Ian Watt, founder and CEO of Nextrade. Thank you for joining me today, Ian. You're welcome. Ian, just for the audience and a quick briefer to get started, uh, can you please expound upon exactly what Nextrade is and the value prop you bring to the market? Okay. Nextrade exists as a mechanism to bring the smaller traders able to enjoy the benefits of the international supply chain. Currently, they're inhibited due to technology limits and various other things. And uh, there's obviously a need for some standards to make this all work properly. So Nextrade is a platform designed to bring uh, something that's 450, 450 million SMEs waiting to get into national trade. There's a 1.7 trillion unmet trade finance demand. That's a pretty serious problem to be addressed in bringing these people and their businesses into international supply. Absolutely. Now, Ian, can I ask you, what was the motivation? Uh, what problem did, was identified in the market uh, that motivated you to start on this solution? Perhaps you could allude to the current standard and, and what they suffer with at the moment. Well, certainly. Um, my background goes back, I started writing software in 1969, so that's 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. And at the end of 95, I realized that the software we we're building for these large companies whilst we could do the application to application interfaces very expensive between them and created these locked in supply chains, it just wasn't gonna work for the smaller companies. And in 96, I set off with the mission to find out what would it take for the internet to be useful for the small trader. For that, I've found myself tangled up in international supply chain standards development. And I'm currently the vice chair of the international supply chain area at the UNCFAC, the Center for Trade Facilitation and Electronic Business. So that's the motivation. And uh, the world is moving to paperless trade as we now see, and that's the opportunity to bring this forward. Absolutely, thank you, Ian. Can I ask you about um, the, the market response? If there has been any, first of all, and if so, which markets uh, do you, or, or target audiences have you validated to, uh, to date? Okay, uh, we did some, with some of my peers from this uh, international standards development world, we did some very early beta proof of concept pilot projects. And we did one on behalf of the Asia Development Bank. This was around about 2012. Mm -hmm. 1,500 indigenous coffee growers in Laos mm -hmm. as part of poverty reduction. We brought their coffee down through a consolidator across to Europe and did that logistics and that supply chain paper free. So that's the kind of situation that exists there. In those markets, it's about poverty reduction and bringing large communities of MSMEs into the world into the market. When you start looking down through the other areas of the more um, developed economies and so forth, it's still the same situation. How do the smaller traders get into the international market? Okay, Ian, now can you tell me about the technology behind Next Trade, a high level overview, uh, and is the IP protected? Okay, the situation with Next Trade is that we built software originally, it was actually sitting on the Microsoft Azure plant, uh, platform mm -hmm. ultimately that was probably too early and that work that we did and invested in uh, was destroyed during the collapse of the irish economy because that's the country in which we were building this software as a as the software base mm -hmm. so next rate doesn't have software at this moment but what it does have is an extremely solid knowledge of the international standards and bring this forward. So it's what Nextrade needs to do now is bring in um, appropriate CXO level and take forward all of the design documents, all of the uh, collateral, the market penetration opportunity and so forth that exists. And this is based on earlier software that, as I said, was based on Azure. But mm -hmm. today we're going to be obviously using all of these advancing technologies to bring uh, the digital twin situation forward, the physical goods map to the information stream so that there is some decision-making possible mm -hmm. and blockchain and these other technologies come into play where appropriate. Ian, um, you've, you've touched on it just then, but perhaps you could talk to me about your economic moat. What do you think your competitive edge is or will be in the market? Okay, um, I've never sought any of these chair roles that I've had at the international scene in the international uh, standard setting arena. 
Um, our competitive advantage is our deep understanding of how the standards are built, why they're mm -hmm. built, how mm -hmm. the open development process works, seeing those standards now uh, being recognized internationally and used in such things as the new digital container shipping association work of the major ocean carriers and so forth. It's that. It's the peer network that we've developed around the world of people who have helped assist to build these things, which we have people prepared to work with us and make this go forward. So mm -hmm. it's our understanding of standards development, our ability to deploy them at the heart of the service rather than at the periphery of some form of application to application interface that mm -hmm. gives us, I think, a knowledge lead and a, a competitive advantage, first mover advantage. Um, ultimately, supply chains will have to have interoperability that's demanded by society. And I think we're going to be a leader in that space. Absolutely. Uh, Ian, if we were to talk, talk, talk about Next Trade as an, uh, an investment opportunity, we'd love to talk about the team. So can you tell us about the team behind the venture and what skills and experience they bring um, to your growth journey? Okay. Well, I'm one of the, I'm the founding uh, CEO, one of the directors, major investor. One of the other uh, uh, directors is the vice president of the of the Chartered Institute of, in, of uh, Tra Transport and Logistics, CILT. Mm -hmm. So this is a gentleman who's very well exposed globally in terms of knowledge and and presentations. He organized recently for me to do a presentation of all of this into the similar organization in North America. And only mm -hmm. last week we did one into the Malaysian region. Um, where we find people like the Asia Development Bank and those also on those same webinars moving things forward. So that's really the core of, of the two of us. Uh, there's another director who was, uh, for, for a number of years, was head of Ireland's uh, customs revenue. Um, then when we move more to the technical people that would be available to us and working with us, these are people who have building already uh, uh, businesses around these standards, whether it be cross energy invoice or or that sort of thing. Absolutely. So you have the team in place and, and the, the knowledge in place to obviously breathe life, is life into this concept. Now, uh, Ian, uh, a, a really important question uh, around milestones, and this is for prospective investors. What does the roadmap look like for the next six to 12 months? What can we uh, anticipate uh, for next trade? Okay. There is a roadmap. It, it spans out over a number of years. But the first thing that will happen in the first six months is we need to um, bring in a CEO. I'm currently the CEO and we need to find the right person to carry this forward. We need to broaden the base of persons working in this. Uh, so that's the first thing to move forward from there and then move towards the first minimal viable product, which will be sufficient to uh, be a demonstrator and also to run further pilot projects, which will lead us into then uh, the second round, which would be in the second part of uh, next year, uh, which is where we get to the first viable commercial product. Excellent. Well, for those who uh, uh, do want to sh actually reach out to Next Trade and perhaps discuss this opportunity a bit further, we will have the details on the side of the screen. And Ian, well done on everything you've done today and, and we look forward to following your journey and thank you for joining me today. Well, thank you very much for the opportunity. It's been a, a worthwhile journey and I want to see it uh, do well in society, for society. Excellent. Thank I you. wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Thank you, Siti. Bye.